In this lesson, we will form a discrete probability distribution and then use that distribution to answer various probability questions. Here's our scenario. Suppose we are rolling two three-sided fair dice. What is the probability distribution for the possible rolls when rolling a one on one die and a three on the other is the same as rolling a three on the first die and a one on the second die? What we need to do to form our discrete probability distribution function is to list all possible values for the rolls and then assign the probability of getting that roll. So what could we roll? If we have two dice, we could roll two ones. We could roll a one and a two, either by rolling a one and then a two, or a two and a one. We could roll a one and a three, again by rolling a one and a three, or a three and a one. We could roll two twos. We could roll a two and a three, either by rolling two and three, or three and two or we could get two threes. Now we need to assign probabilities to each of these rolls. Well, what's the probability that we roll two ones? Well, let's start with what's the probability that we get a one on the first die? That probability is one third, we have a fair die. What's the probability that we roll a one on the second die? That is also one third. What we roll on each of the dice are independent of one another, so we can multiply these probabilities to get the probability of rolling two ones. And we see that the probability of a one one is one ninth. Using the same logic, we know that the probability of rolling two twos will also be one ninth, and the probability of rolling two threes is one ninth. Now we need to figure out the probability of rolling a one and a two. Well, the probability that we roll a one and a two is one ninth, just the same probability as rolling two ones. But we could also have rolled a two and a one with probability one ninth. So the probability that we roll a one and a two, we have to add up these two probabilities, our probability is two ninths. Using the same logic, the probability of rolling a one and a three is two ninths, and the probability of rolling a two and a three is two ninths. Now we have our probability distribution function table. And now we can answer any probability question by looking at the numbers and combining numbers from the table. So let's look at our first probability calculation. What is the probability of rolling a two and a three? There is only one possibility for that scenario, and that is right here. The probability of rolling a two and a three is just two ninths. Now we wanna know what's the probability of rolling a two? Well, when do we roll a two? We roll a two if we roll a one and a two, or two twos, or two three. Because rolling a one and a two, or a two and a two, or a two and a three are disjoint events, they can't happen at the same time, we can just add the individual probabilities. We have the probability of rolling a one and a two is two ninths, the probability of rolling a two and a two is one ninth, and the probability of rolling a two and a three is two ninths. Adding up the probabilities, we find that the probability that we roll a two is five ninths. Now we wanna know the probability of rolling a two or a three. Well, when do we roll a two or a three? Here we roll a two, here we roll a three, here we roll a two, here we roll both a two and a three, and here we roll a three. So in every case, with the exception of rolling two ones, we roll a two or a three. Rather than adding up those five numbers, I will say one minus the probability of rolling two ones, which is one minus one ninth, which equals eight ninths. So the probability of rolling a two or a three is just eight ninths. What is the probability of rolling a one and a two and a three? 
there are no possibilities for, for rolling a 1, 2, and a 3, so this probability is 0. It can't happen. What is the probability of rolling a 1, or a 2, or a 3? Looking at the table, we roll a 1 there, we roll a 1 and a 2, a 1 and a 3, a 2, a 2 and a 3, and a 3. And every one of those rolls, we roll either a 1 or a 2 or a 3, and we see that the probability that we roll a 1 or a 2 or a 3 is the entire sample space where the probability is 1. So once the probability distribution table is constructed, you can answer probability questions based on that table and using the properties of probability.